Have you ever wanted to eliminate your high interest credit card debt? Well, what if I could tell you that there is a way to eliminate that high interest credit card debt? Hello everyone, it's Rick here with GoodIncomeStreams.com and the author of Invest Like the Rich. And on this video, we will be talking about how you can eliminate your high interest credit cards. You see, most retailers love the holiday seasons, especially the Christmas holiday. If you're like most people, you probably had to use your credit card to purchase gifts or because you feel obligated to purchase a gift for someone. And if you're like most people right now, you're probably carrying quite a significant balance. Now, depending on your situation right now, that can weigh a lot on you. Did you know that most people don't pay off that credit card debt within that year? Which means the following year, they have to charge again. And now instead of eliminating that credit card, they just added even more. And this can be a huge burden to you. So what if I could tell you that you could eliminate your high interest credit card? Now, of course, this is not a magic, this is not a magic trick, but at the same time, if you are disciplined and you can follow these steps, you could eliminate your high interest credit card debt in as little as 12 months. You see, carrying a high credit card balance can really dig into your budget. And if not paid off immediately, can become a really big issue. Now, in order to understand how big of an issue this is if you do not eliminate your high interest credit card. Let's start with how much does a credit card charge? So the average so the average credit card interest rate as of this recording is at 21.28%. Now before we continue, if you're enjoying this video, please smash that like button and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you the next time I post another video. Now getting back to the credit card balance. Now the easiest way to eliminate your high interest credit cards is to apply for a 0% APR credit card. Now you must be thinking, yeah, of course, we all know that. But at the same time, you do need to understand that if you do not apply for one, this is what's gonna happen. Let's just say that you make more than the minimum payment because if we pay just the minimum, of course, it's gonna take forever, right? So let's say you make $150. If you had a $5,000 credit card balance at 21.28%, it will take you 51 months to pay it off. Now, at $150 a month, that is four years and three months. That is way too long, right? If it took you 51 months to pay off your $5,000 credit card debt, you would have paid $2,631 in interest, which totals $7,631 on a $5,000 debt. That is a little ridiculous. Now let's say you increase your monthly payments from $150 to $257. Now I know it sounds like an odd number, but that's because $257 monthly payments at 21.28% interest on a $5,000 credit card debt will come out to 24 months. Now with that one, you'll still be paying an interest of $1,182. So all in all, your $5,000 debt becomes $6,182. Now that's a large number. So let's just say you decided to go even less than that. So we're going from 24 months, let's say you decided to go and pay it off in 12 months instead because you want to make sure that your credit card it has a zero balance by the time the holidays come. So $5,000 at 21.28% interest, it will cost you $466 a month to pay it off in 12 months. Ouch, that hurts. I mean, I don't know about you, but $466 a month is a significant amount of money. And on top of that, you will be making a $594 interest payment. So. Your $5,000 becomes $5,594. That interest is significantly less. And I mean, I would agree with you. I'm, I would be willing to pay that much if it cost, I mean, you know, to borrow money. So what if you could pay it off with zero interest? So a $5,000 debt at 18 months would cost you about $278 a month. That's with zero interest. Now, if you was to break that up, a $278 monthly payment, if you was still continuing to pay at 21.28% for a $5,000 credit card debt, it would take you 22 months to pay it off. And it would cost you $1,075 in interest. So a little over 20% of what you borrowed will go in interest. So now, let's just say 
you decided to just stick with your credit card and you pay it off in 18 months, it will cost you $326 a month to pay it off in 18 months. So you started, if you did it with zero interest, it would be $278 for 18 months. So if you stuck with your credit card, it will cost you $326 a month for 18 months to pay off that $5,000 credit card debt. And on top of that, your interest would be at $884. So $326 to $278. That's a difference of $48 every single month, which comes out to $884. So I don't know about you, but if I can save every single penny and not give any of my money away, I would do that. So what is this little trick that I'm talking about? Well, that's if you sign up for 0% APR credit cards. Now, if you're enjoying this video, please smash that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that YouTube will notify you the next time I put another video. Now, getting back to el eliminating your high interest credit card debt. So the best way to do that would be to apply for a 0% APR credit card. Now, you must be thinking, oh yeah, we've heard this before. But no, if you really think about it, you will pay 0% interest compared to 21.28%, which is the national average. Now, of course, there's some caveats to this and you will need to pay attention to what kind of, what type of credit card you are applying. This can be a huge advantage to you, especially if you have more than one credit card and you are holding high balances on your credit card. So there are six things that you need to know before you apply for these credit cards. Now, the first one is the introductory period. Now, so this one, you need to know that just because it says 0% APR does not mean that it's going to be forever. So some credit cards will have it for 6 months, some will have it for 12 months, some as long as 18 months. Now I don't know of any other credit card that goes beyond 18 months but if you do know one, please let me know in the comments below. I would like to know what, which credit card that is because I would like to apply for that one. Now we must remember to always read the fine print because if you're not, you're going to miss some stuff. So this can be very important because what if you signed up for a credit card that you thought that was going to take you 18 months to pay off, but they're only allowing you six months to pay off with 0% and after that it will shoot up to 29%. That will defeat the purpose. Now the second one will be balance transfers. So some credit cards offer 0% APR on purchases, on new purchases, and some don't. So they might offer 0% APR on new purchases, but their regular interest rate for any balance transfers. We want to make sure that we choose the credit card that has 0% APR on balance transfers. It's a plus if it's 0% on new purchases, but for the purpose of this video, we want the one with the balance transfer. Now the third one is fees. Now some will offer the 0% APR on balance transfers, but there is a charge of anywhere from 3 to 5%. But then there are others that don't. So just make sure you choose the right one. Now, if there's one thing I really hate is paying fees. I mean, I hate paying for interest because I want to save every penny. If I can hold on to my money, I want to hold on to it. So the second one would be the fees. For me, if I can get a credit card with 0% APR and no transfer fees, I choose those. Now, the fourth one is rewards or incentives. So if you can get a credit card that offers you travel miles or cash back, those are the credit cards that I would be choosing. If I can get a credit card with cash back, even if it's as little as one or two percent, or if they offer travel miles, especially a bonus when you hit a certain amount. This way, we're doing it the opposite, right? So instead of us giving them money, we're taking money from them. I mean, it's not literal, but then again, you do get the points, right? Whether it's travel miles or cash back, that's some type of incentive that we can get back from them. So if you can get a credit card with those kinds of incentives, I say choose those ones. Now, the fifth one is penalties for delinquency. Have you ever wondered what will happen if you miss the payment or if you were late just a single day? Well, most of these credit card companies will charge you a penalty. Now, the penalties can range anywhere from $25 to $35. Some might charge less, some might charge more, but it's usually around that number. And then your 0% APR will be gone, even though the introductory period is not over yet. So they take back that 0% APR. And to top it off, you will get a penalty interest. And this can be anywhere from 28% 
to as high as 32% in some cases. So make sure that you do not miss a payment or be late, not even by a single day. So auto pay is usually the best way to do this. Now, if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to smash that like button and the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that YouTube will notify you the next time I upload another video. Now, the sixth one is the interest after the introductory period. See, this is this becomes very important as you, you must know how much you are going to be paying just in case if you are unable to pay off that debt. You want to know exactly how much the interest rate is going to be for new purchases and the balance transfers. See, sometimes these, these interest rates can differ from one another. So it's very important to know this stuff. Also, the last one is you want to make sure that they do not do any retro. So some companies or some credit card companies out there, what they do is they will go back from the very beginning for any new purchases or balance transfers. So let's just say they gave you 12 months to pay off $5,000 in credit card debt. On the 12th month, you still had an extra, uh, let's just say $500 left. But because times was tough, you couldn't make that last $500 payment. What some companies will do is they will go back to the very first month and compute the interest rate for that $5,000 debt that you had all the way back till the present. They will just add that on to that $500 that you still owe. So it is very important to know exactly what type of credit card you're getting into. So reading that fine print will help you a lot. Now, if you have any questions, please don't forget to leave your questions in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. So just to recap, first, you must know exactly how long that 0% APR introductory rate is gonna be. Preferably the longer the better with no interest, right? I mean, if you can get away without paying any interest for as long as you can, that's that's the ultimate goal. And the second one is gonna be making sure that you can do balance transfers with a 0% APR. The third one is balance transfer fees. If there is one thing I hate, it is those fees. The goal is to eliminate your high interest credit card debt, not to increase the debt. So zero fees or very little. Now the fourth one is a bonus that some of these credit card companies offer, and that is incentives or rewards. I mean, if you can get some type of reward or incentive for using their credit card, I say, why not? I mean, let's reverse the roles for a change. Let's make money off of them instead of them making money off of us. Now the fifth one is the cost of missing any payments or being late. Now I don't need to remind you on how detrimental this can be to your goal of eliminating your high interest credit card debt. In order for us to not get this, let us make sure that we pay our credit card debt on time or to make it even easier, put it on auto pay to, to eliminate any chance of forgetting or missing a payment. And the last one is just in case if you can't pay it off is to know exactly how much the interest rate is going to be. Now the priority of course is to pay it off within the introductory period so that way you can eliminate that high interest. So let's just leave this as a backup but make sure that you pay it off before the introductory period. So just remember to read the fine print. I understand that these terms and conditions can be very lengthy and sometimes boring but they are there to keep us informed of exactly what we are getting ourselves into. So read the fine print and be sure that you are not getting screwed over now if you want to learn how to buy cheap real estate i will post my video up here this that video is about how i bought real estate for less than fourteen hundred dollars now i'd like to say mahalo for watching this video and remember to always strive for financial independence and until the next time aloha.